Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the Sunday Recap, my weekly vlog where I talk a little bit about my last week in games. As always, we'll start with EVE Online and I've done the regular stuff. I, um, I've done my PI, I did my weekly run with blueprint copies and stuff to sell to Jita. And that reminds me on my next... Uh, on my next trip uh, so next week I will also start to work with like a shopping list because there's actually some stuff that I want to buy to get ready for the abyss namely uh, some um, implant sets that, uh, that I want to test out I think I'll go with both a shield uh, set and a uh, an armor set uh, maybe a couple of those depending on the actual price and then I still want to buy a sacrilege as well just to be ready um, for the abyss I think that's going to be my go to ship to um, to basically farm up to the tier trees and then for tier fours tier fives I still have to really find the types of ships that are going to do that reliably I don't think it's ever going to be that easy I think that there will basically especially in tier five always be a little bit of risk next to that on TQ I also did a little bit of exploration nothing great I must say I didn't get any really valuable drops but I did get a couple of armor faction pieces, which I like, of course, because uh, they're not worth a lot, like maybe a couple million or something like that. But those are the perfect items to gamble on when it comes to uh, the uh, the new mechanic to, to potentially upgrade items uh, with Into the Abyss. So I'm stockpiling those in detail at the moment. There's really not a lot of value there, but there's more and more uh, of these uh, faction pieces that, that I think uh, could yield some interesting results. So that, that's basically something that I've been doing as well. And I've also been doing a little bit of mining too uh, on a couple of evenings where I felt like, you know, I had to take my time, I had to relax a little bit. So why not just uh, go into the Orca, go to my own uh, created belt and uh, mine a little bit of that Take 2 stuff. It's it's quite bulky, you can't compress it. And so I can't mine, mine up a storm uh, because I still need to think about logistics there as well. Um, but yeah, I did a little bit of that as well. Uh, now, there is a second part to EVE Online last week because, of course, I spent quite a bit of time on CC and I joined two mass tests, one for the Faction Citadels, one for Into the Abyss. Uh, both of them went decently well, I would say. Uh, with Into the Abyss, I managed to do a couple of sites and uh, we had some tie-dye, we had some server uh, performance issues there and on the uh, Citadel one, uh, Faction Citadel one, uh, I think everything basically went very smoothly. That The video about that is already out as well. But I still need to do a little bit of testing uh, on CC, I basically need to find a time to do that uh, to uh, to then make some videos about it as well because I do want to uh, take a look at all of the, the different stuff that's coming out of there and how it all works, bring that to you guys before the expansion. Uh, so we'll see, it's, it's all a bit of, of scheduling that I need to do at this point. But it's been a pretty good week for me in EVE Online, I definitely had a lot of fun there. Next up we have some World of Warcraft, so as you may know on the live servers I am basically running in maintenance mode at the moment, nothing too special, just doing my emissaries and uh, basically that's it, I'm, I'm running some daily quests with the goal of earning some gold. My Rexar now has uh, three items that whenever I complete a world quest gets me extra gold, so it's one of 45, one of 25 and one of 15, totaling uh, like 85 gold uh, extra for every world quest pretty damn cool in my opinion and a nice way to uh, to uh, get some extra gold ready for the expansion uh, the reason i didn't spend more time there i didn't even really do any battlegrounds or anything like that maybe a couple uh, but it's really hardly uh, worth noting uh, is of course that blizzard gave me access to the beta for uh, battle for azeroth um, I'm quite honored by that. It's definitely pretty interesting, but I must also say that uh, I'm not going to go hardcore into the beta uh, at this point. I may make a couple of extra videos, uh, but basically uh, what I've been feeling here at the moment, I've been, I've been leveling up um, a Magar Orc Shaman just to see how everything works out, how it's going to be for elementals. I think it's going to be pretty fun and that the elemental shaman basically doesn't suffer too much from the G, uh, global cooldown change. Um, um, but overall, I also say to myself, I'm not going to grind hardcore in the beta because I'll have to do that grind anyways in Battle for Azeroth and there it's going to be a lot more fun because I'll have people to play with. And so at the moment, I'm just I'm going to take my time. I might make a couple of individual videos, perhaps about the different zones. They, they definitely... Um, 
have a very unique flair to them. I think that most of the quests work okay. I got a couple bugs there that, uh, that I reported to Blizzard. So I'm trying to do my job when I uh, do go on to the beta. But uh, I can't basically spend 10 hours uh, a day on, on the beta at the moment to grind out 120. And then to really start to grind out uh, all of the new content and stuff like that. So it's going to be a slow process. I'm going to take my time there. Uh, especially because I don't feel like risking uh, massive effort there. And then maybe a burn out and then not feel like playing the uh, the pre-patch not playing uh, maybe even the expansion as much as I, I want to at the moment so uh, yeah very honored that I got into the beta I am going to cover that a little bit but I'm not going hardcore there at all I'm going to take my time and in fact I want to uh, re-increase my focus on uh, the live serve a little bit I want to do a bit more battlegrounds play a little bit with Dagon and Vobo and things like that rather than spend all my time um, on uh, on the beta. It's been a, a nice exploration, but I must say if you know anything about World of Warcraft It's a World of Warcraft experience compare that to uh, Testing in EVE Online where everything costs 100 discs You can just you know grab the skill points from some mass tests and just really test everything out in a sandboxy way There you have to go through the grind you have to go through all the content um, And uh, it's it's a lot of work which you have to repeat again, and I, I don't feel like uh, going all out doing se several characters or anything like that. And then for my final game this week, I want to talk a little bit about Hearthstone. So I finished the Witchwood dungeon. It was not easy, uh, but in my opinion, again, a very fun and cool experience with replayability. Um, if I feel like playing some Hearthstone, it's definitely something that I'll do. Uh, just, you know, jump into some solo dungeons. The classes from the Witchwood have a really unique flair, unique abilities that can create some completely different cool, uh, cool uh, decks. Uh, in order to, to try and get through the dungeon so I don't have uh, as many ideas there uh, because basically grabbing the treasures that deal with your hero power is, is usually by far the best option and so that's that's how I managed to get through uh, the, the solo dungeons and there's really hardly any reason to go for any of the other spell powers. Uh, none of them are as unique as really double battle cry, double death rattle, which you can then try to build something around once you've made that choice, uh, which you can do in the uh, solo dungeons from Goblins and Gnomes. So I'd say if, if, if you want to replay it, I'm going... I think Goblins and Gnomes has more replayability, but the experience in the Witchwood was definitely quite polish, uh, polished, lots of fun. Uh, not all that easy, you know, I had to try several times on a couple of the classes and uh, eventually you get to that, that, that final uh, challenge as well, which is pretty cool, um, but it's also very structured and so it's, it's not made to be impossible. I did it, uh, spoilers, on the first try. Um, that video is coming out uh, in, in the somewhat distant future because I'm keeping the Hearthstone videos at one a week. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a fun experience and uh, some unique mechanics, bosses, classes there that make it a lot of fun. On the other hand, now I do feel like I'm done with Hearthstone for a little bit. Uh, at this point, I beat the Witchwood. I've got videos for uh, several weeks uh, at the ready, uh, uploaded and scheduled as well. So at this point, I am going to look for maybe another game to play or something like that next to uh, World of Warcraft and EVE Online. Uh, my next big focus in those games is of course going to be EVE Online with Into the Abyss. I do want to, um, you know, get tier trees on farm, see what kind of modules I can make for myself and then uh, also make some Triglavian ships for myself. I think that's what I want to do when Into the Abyss comes out and personally I can't wait for it. Anyways, that's it for this week guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.